25,000 followers. That calls for a celebration. Hi there! Welcome to the Shiridu channel. Welcome to this new video. My name is Irene and today we're going to celebrate that the Shiridu channel reached a 25,000 followers. There's 25,000 of you guys. That is so awesome. I never thought or when I started this channel that it would got so big and that you would all be here watching my videos so I'm super super thankful and happy um, that this happened so I thought let's celebrate of course I already ate cake to celebrate it but um, we also should celebrate it here on my channel so I'm going to do a fun giveaway uh, more about that at the end of this video but before we dive into the giveaway Let's do a little update on how things are going in Shiridu and what is planned, what I'm working at. So what's happening at the moment is of course the Shiridu Benina Quilt Along. We are now at row 9, so everybody's working at row 9, so there's three more rows to go after this one. And then we're going to assemble the quilt and quilt it. Um, so I'm going to show you two options on how to quilt that quilt, that's also going to be a mini-series. Which I guess also will be fun if you didn't participate in the quilt along. But if you want to see some options on quilting a bigger quilt, then definitely um, check that out when we start with that at the end of this year. And some fun news about finishing our quilt along quilts. I am working on um, making a special backing fabric for our quilts. So I had other plans to assemble a, uh, a kit with the batting and the backing fabric and maybe also fabric for the binding for the quilts but there are some delays at suppliers due to corona and limited stuff so I thought how about printing special fabric for our quilt along. So that is now in the making so I really hope to be able to show that to you very soon but uh, I thought let's just share it before I have it here. So <laughs> that's in the making and I'm super super excited about that. Also, I made buttons. I I made buttons for the Shiver Do Benita Quilt Along. Look see, how cool is that? A very cute button for the Shiver Do Benita Quilt Along. I already sent out one of these with a kit that was ordered on my site this week. So um, one lucky customer gets a button. So I'm going to put those in my web shop somewhere this week, next week. And they will, I guess they will go for free with everyone who orders backing fabric. And while I was making these buttons, I also made one for the Be Happy Mini Quilt. So probably I will be making buttons for every Shiri Do project <laughs> that I'm going to design from now on. Having lots of fun making buttons. Um, so yeah, that is, um, I guess that's everything new on the Shiri Do Benini Quilt Along. Um, I'm already looking forward to a new quilt along. So when I started um, sketching and working out patterns for my new book, I thought let's just turn that into a new quilt along. So that's my plan. I'm now um, working out the patterns for a new book. It's going to be all paper piecing. Let me just tell you a little bit about the book. <laughs> so it's going to be all paper piecing. Um, it's going to be uh, kind of similar like the Sugar Do Sampler. So it's just going to be a lot of uh, foundation paper piecing blocks and uh, different layouts but I'm also going to include different projects so uh, pillow, uh, mini quilts, uh, maybe uh, a purse or a bag or something like that so I'm just going to include also different projects that you can make with the blocks and the blocks are probably going to be slightly bigger um, so in the Sugar Do Sampler there was a crazy amount of 38 blocks in the book um, this one has I guess up to 20 blocks uh, all foundation paper piecing but a little bit bigger or um, multiple sizes so it's scalable but in the big quilt that will be in the book the blocks will be a little bit bigger and uh, I'm super duper excited about it. The theme of the book is happy so <laughs> I'm not sure about the title yet but it's going to be something along the lines of the Shiburu Happiness Project something like that 
because what I would love for this book is to include everything that makes us happy. So all the happy feelings gathered in quilt blocks. And for the quilt along, I was thinking, um, since it's all foundation paper piecing, so I don't have to do um, uh, a very in-depth tutorial about every block. So when we would do a um, quilt along about it, I'm just going to do uh, a video, I guess every two weeks, or well, let's see what kind of pace we want the quilt along to be. But then every video, I'm just going to talk about a block, um, a kind of video like this, just chatting and showing you uh, maybe a special part of the blog or talking about the blog, um, sharing the happy feelings behind it. So kind of a positivity quilt along. So just to lift up and brighten our moods and uh, have something cheery to look forward to. So uh, that's my plan and probably when I'm making the blogs and I'm making a video about the blog I will have something a little extra for every block to show you. Uh, maybe a special fabric that um, you could use in a block or um, just sharing tips and tricks on uh, foundation paper piecing in, in there. Um, but besides from that, I guess it will be just a quilt along where you have the book and we will make the quilt together. And then the third project that I'm working on, so we have the quilt along, uh, my new book, and I am working on my very first e-course, which I am over the moon excited about. Because uh, I've had this idea in my mind so long. So when I started quilting within Shiridu, um, I always thought that it would be so cool to teach about foundation paper piecing, the true basics. So a lot of you can already do foundation paper piecing, but I'm sure that there will also be quilters that look at foundation paper piecing blocks and think, hmm, nice pattern, but too bad, it's foundation paper piecing, I can't do that. And even though I already have tutorials on my YouTube channel, the course is going to be with me. So there will be question hours. Um, it will be about four weeks. So I will go over all the basics, the materials. Um, we are going to discuss two ways of making foundation paper piecing. So um, with freezer paper and with tea bag paper. Uh, that will be a, a starter kit where you have all the materials, cutting mat, rotary cutter, all the kinds of papers, a basic set of fabrics. So that if you are all new to quilting and want to try it, uh, that is going to be the course for you. So I guess that way I can share my love for foundation paper piecing and um, really also teach people who want to try it but have never done it and still with a tutorial on YouTube feel uh, unsure. So uh, that will be Q&A's, live Q&A's with me in the course. So um, yeah, that is I guess going to be launching somewhere in September. Um, so before the book, so then we, so that way when you want to start with the book and you have no clue, you can also start with the uh, e-course first. So there are a lot of projects uh, which I'm super excited about. And it's, it's kind of nice to be in such a flow of working on a lot of different things that are also giving me energy and um, uh, keeping me so excited. So can't wait to finish them, to share them with you. Because also for my book, I'm looking into fabrics now to also make a nice fabric kit to go with it. And um, I thought maybe I should go for Kona cotton uh, just solids because I can then reorder them and also have a kit available uh, in a year from now. Uh, that would be nice. And went with uh, just fabrics with a print. That's not really possible because um, you can order them uh, at the wholesale. I can order them once and then most of the fabrics don't uh, go for a reprint so you're never sure if you can reorder the fabrics in a year from now so going with solids is safe but then we will have an all solid quilt again so maybe maybe just maybe there is going to be a special fabric line for my book which is unbelievably exciting um but that could be happening so it will either be a quilt kit with all solids again or uh, which specially made Shugiri do 
fabrics for my book. So when I know more, uh, when I finish the design of the book, there will be pre-orders and uh, of course I'll let you know about that. But at the moment I just don't know more about it myself, so um, when I do, you'll be the first to know. Yeah, I guess that is um, kind of all about my announcements about how things are going at the moment. I'm just having a lot of fun working on new projects in my new studio space. And in the meantime, when the weather is nice, I go for paddle boarding. And I guess that's kind of everything that's going on over here at the moment. So now for the celebration, um, I thought let's go do a nice giveaway. And because uh, a few weeks ago we had a quilt swap with our modern quilt guild, uh, the Dutch modern quilt guild, and it was so much fun to make a quilt for someone and to receive a quilt. So I thought, let me just make a mini quilt, um, a little project uh, for one of you. So um, leave a comment in the comment section below with, um, let's say, your biggest quilting struggle or uh, a cool idea for a new Shiridu video. So this week I will be making a mini quilt for one of you and then next week I show you what I made and I will pick a winner and send it out. It will be open for anyone from all over the world. So go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section down below this video and then I will see you next week with a video about me making a mini quilt for one of you. Thank you so much for being here, for all your love and support and being such an awesome, lovely, wonderful community on the Shiridu, on the Facebook groups, on YouTube. You're just awesome. Okay, see you next week. Bye!